Hello, wonderful viewers. It's a fantastic day to learn something new. Today, we're embarking on a playful journey through a land filled with words. We'll explore exciting vocabulary building games that will not only boost your word power, but also make learning delightful and fun. From word chains to synonym challenges, we've got it all. It's time to expand our horizons, and what better way to do that than with games? Ready to dive into the world of words? Here we go. Vocabulary building games are not just fun, they are a great way to learn new words and their meanings. Imagine a playground, but instead of swings and slides, it's filled with words. Yes, words of all shapes and sizes, some you know and some you're meeting for the first time. This is what we call vocabulary building games. Now, why is this playground important? Well, just like the swings help you to strengthen your muscles, these games help to strengthen your word power. They help you to understand the meanings of the new words, how they are used, and even how they sound. But that's not all. These games also make you a better reader, writer, and speaker. You see, by playing with words, you're not just having fun, you're also improving your language skills. You're learning how to express your thoughts and ideas more clearly and effectively. And the best part? You're doing all this while having a great time. Think about it. Would you rather sit in a classroom and memorize words from a list? Or would you prefer to play a fun game that teaches you the same words? I bet you'd choose the game. And that's the beauty of vocabulary building games. They make learning enjoyable and engaging, turning it into a playful adventure. So, are you ready to play some games and learn? Let's move to our first game. The first game we have on our list is called Word Chain. Welcome to the world of Word Chain, a game that's not just entertaining, but also a fantastic way to expand your vocabulary. Now, you might be wondering, what's this Word Chain all about? Well, it's simple and fun. All you need is a group of friends and a love for words. Here's how you play it. The first player starts by saying a word, any word. The next player then has to say a word that starts with the last letter of the previous word. Sounds like a breeze, right? Well, there's a twist. You can't repeat a word that's already been said. So you have to be quick on your feet and have a treasure trove of words ready at the tip of your tongue. Now let's imagine a round of play. Player one kicks us off with the word elephant. The last letter is T, so player two might say tiger. The game continues with player three saying a word starting with R, like rabbit. It continues this way, with each player saying a word that starts with the last letter of the previous word. But remember, no repeats. If someone says a word that's already been used, they're out for the round. The last person standing is the winner. So you have to think fast, remember the words that have been used, and come up with a new word each turn. It's a thrilling race against time and memory. You can make the game even more exciting by setting a time limit for each turn. Maybe give each player 10 seconds to think of their word. If they can't think of a word in time, they're out. This adds an extra layer of challenge and makes the game even more fun. Word Chain is not just a game, it's a journey into the vast universe of words. It helps you learn new words, remember ones you've forgotten, and have a great time while doing so. You'll find yourself becoming a word wizard before you know it. Easy and fun, right? Let's move on to the next game. Our second game is called The Synonym Challenge. This game is all about discovering different words that mean the same thing. Synonyms are a fantastic way to jazz up our vocabulary, so we're not just repeating the same words over and over again. They also help us understand the nuances in language, as each synonym carries a slightly different connotation. So how do we play the synonym challenge? It's simple and fun. First, we'll select a word. Let's say our word is happy. Now we need to think of as many synonyms as we can for happy. These could be words like joyful, pleased, content, cheerful, and so on. The goal is to come up with as many synonyms as possible within a set time. You could play this game alone, challenging yourself to think of more and more synonyms each time, or you could play with friends and see who can come up with the most synonyms. Now, let's play a quick round of the synonym challenge. Our word for this round will be big. Ready, set, go! Let's think. Large, in huge, gigantic, massive, enormous, vast. Wow, that's quite a few synonyms. And there are still so many more out there. 
Remember, the key to winning this game is to think quickly and creatively. Also, keep in mind that while the synonym challenge is a game, it's also a learning tool. Every time you play, you're expanding your vocabulary, learning new words, and understanding more about the English language. That was challenging, wasn't it? But learning is fun this way. Let's move on to our next game. Our third game is Antonym Finder. Antonym Finder is a game that will help you understand words better and expand your vocabulary in a fun way. But first, let's understand what an antonym is. An antonym is a word that has the opposite meaning of another word. For example, the antonym of happy is sad and the antonym of big is small. Now let's dive into how to play Antonym Finder. It's quite simple and exciting. We start with a word and your task is to find its antonym. You can play this game with your friends, your family, or even when you're alone practicing your vocabulary. It's also a great game to play when you're on a long car ride or waiting for something. Let's play a quick round of Antonym Finder to show you how it works. Our starting word for this round is dark. Can you think of its antonym? Take your time. Remember, the antonym is a word with the opposite meaning. Got it? That's right. The antonym of dark is light. Great job. Let's try another one. The word is loud. <laughs> what do you think the antonym is? That's correct. The antonym of loud is quiet. See, you're getting the hang of this. It's a fantastic way to learn new words and their opposites, which will help you express yourself better in different situations. You can make the game more challenging by using longer or more complex words. Remember, the more you play Antonym Finder, the more words you'll learn, and the better you'll get at finding antonyms quickly. So keep practicing and keep playing. So, that's Antonym Finder for you. A simple, fun-filled game that helps you learn and grow your vocabulary in no time. You're doing great! Let's move on to our fourth game. Our fourth game is Sentence Creator. This game is a fantastic way to get creative with the words we've been learning. It's simple, fun, and really puts your vocabulary to the test. So, are you ready to create some sentences? Let's dive right in. Here's how to play Sentence Creator. We'll start by choosing a word. Any word is fine, but it's even more fun if we choose one of the new words we've learned today. Once we have our word, our task is to create a sentence using that word. But here's the twist. The sentence should make sense and be as imaginative as possible. Oh, and remember, the longer the sentence, the better. Now, let's say our word for the round is exquisite. How about we create a sentence together? Here's one. The exquisite painting on the wall caught everyone's attention with its vibrant colors blending seamlessly. How's that for a start? But don't worry, you don't have to make it that long. Even a simple sentence like, the cake tasted exquisite works perfectly fine. The goal is to understand and use the word correctly, not to write a novel. Did you notice how we use the word exquisite in different contexts? That's the beauty of Sentence Creator. It encourages us to explore different ways a word can be used, helping us understand its meaning more deeply. Now it's your turn. Choose a word and create your own sentence. Remember, there's no right or wrong here. It's all about having fun while learning new words. And there you have it, folks. That's how you play Sentence Creator. It's an amusing way to learn new words, understand their meanings, and use them in context. It's like building a castle with words one brick at a time. Well done. Ready for our last game? Our final game is the classic Word Search. We're all set to dive into a world of letters where hidden words are waiting to be discovered. The game is as enchanting as it sounds. It's a grid of letters, and your task is to find specific words within this grid. The words can be hidden in any direction, vertically, horizontally, diagonally, or even backwards. Sounds like a fun challenge, doesn't it? To play this game, all you need is a keen eye for details and a zest for exploring. Imagine yourself as a word detective, searching for clues in a sea of letters. Each word you find is like a hidden treasure, adding to your vocabulary wealth. Let's take a look at an example. Suppose we have a grid of letters and we're looking for the word happy. We start by scanning the rows one by one. We look for the first letter, H. And once we find it, we check the surrounding letters to see if they form the word happy. If they don't, we move on and continue the search. We repeat this process until we found the word. 
But remember, the real fun lies not just in finding the words, but in learning them. Each word you discover might be a new addition to your vocabulary. So don't just search for the words, understand them, use them, and make them a part of your word arsenal. Now, it's your turn to play around. Grab a word search puzzle and start your word hunt. Remember, the more you play, the more words you'll discover and the stronger your vocabulary will become. Word search is not just a game, it's a journey into the world of words, a fun way to enhance your vocabulary, and a challenge that keeps you engaged in learning. That was fun, wasn't it? Let's wrap up now. And as we do, remember, each word you find is a step forward in your vocabulary journey. Keep playing, keep exploring, and keep learning. Because in the world of words, every discovery is a victory. We have played some amazing games today and learned new words. What a whirlwind of wordplay it's been. From the fast-paced action of word chain to the thoughtful puzzle solving in word search, we've had quite an adventure. Remember that synonym challenge? It was all about finding different ways to say the same thing. And don't forget the antonym finder, where we discovered words that mean the exact opposite. Then, in Sentence Creator, we combined words in new and exciting ways. Each of these games has shown us just how fun and fascinating words can be. They've helped us to expand our vocabulary and unleash the power of our imagination. And the best part? We can play them again and again, discovering new words and meanings each time. So let's keep this wordy journey going. Play these games, explore new words, and see how much you can learn. Thank you so much for joining us today. Keep playing, keep learning, and see you next time.